What's up you guys, the Bellows here and today we are reacting to a video called The 10 Scariest Short Films Ever Created. It is by D Burke 321. Now I think uh, you guys probably heard a couple of my uh, uh, scary stories and um, I never thought they made uh, I never thought they made short films for a scary story but I'm always interested just to check out mm, ho uh, horror videos so um, and I heard a lot of people uh, reacted to this video and uh, they say it's the most scariest thing ever and all that stuff so um, yeah let's uh, go check out this video so um, let's get to it when I made the 10 creepiest videos oh. on YouTube part 2 I featured a short film called lights out a lot of you guys liked it and my shoe that fell off recommended I make a list for short films. I so I decided to compile a list of just that. So sit back, relax, grab a shoe, sorry man, and join me for the 10 scariest short films of all time. Number 10 is playing with the devil. There's a very popular no. ritual in Japan that consists of doing a bunch of weird shit with the doll and then playing hide and seek by yourself. I now this short film this details ritual. just that and shows a group of girls doing the ritual and facing the consequences. I think this is called play hide and seek by yourself. I, I don't know, but what the hell? No! What are you doing? Mom's gonna kill you. You're it. You're it. That is enough. Don't worry, Mary. We'll fix your I think your sister's psycho. Uh oh. Mm mm. Nope. <laughs> Oh hell no. See, you couldn't even hear that. You could have hear that. No, there goes one of your sisters. Number nine is Skype Mare. Two women are having a conversation on Halloween night, and one of them tells her friend about a man she met at a bar. Her friend can see this man in the background and gets mad at her for doing that to her boyfriend. Now that you have a general synopsis, I'll let you watch the rest. And she goes investigates. Why would you fucking go investigate? See, that motherfucker's gonna pull you right in. Watch this, it's gonna happen. Ah, see? Ah, caught it! Called it! Nine one one, what's your emergency? Oh, he just got disconnected. Someone broke into my friend's house. I need someone to go help her right now. Her address is, um, is, um... It's one two one one West Willow Apartment Eight. Oh! I need some information. Okay. Okay. Play now. <sighs> oh. Oh my God. Oh shit! Oh my God, he's coming for me! Oh hell no! You left me in sorry. That is the sickest fucking joke ever. Are you sure you gave the right address? Hello? Ma'am, are you still there? Well, congratulations, you just killed your best friend. Number eight is the smiling man. This short film was actually inspired oh, by a post one. that was made to Reddit. There's not much more I can explain about it though, and you're just gonna have to let this Jim Carrey looking dude haunt your dreams for the rest of your life. You know, Jim Carrey might be a perfect character for the Smiling Man. Fits perfectly. Really? He acts like he's a fucking cartoon character. See? Uh, you can do that in the white neighborhood, but if you do it in the black neighborhood, there's a good chance you might get your ass shot.
Why in the hell are you standing there? What the hell do you want? See, I would have pulled my gun and shoot him. I don't care. Motherfucker might be on basalt. Run, bitch. Uh-uh. I wouldn't stop. I'd keep running. He's right there. Yeah, mm, told you. Number seven is Bedtime, another Reddit-inspired short film. The original post was actually a two-sentence horror story, so of course it has a very good twist. When you re-watch it with the twist, this newfound knowledge can actually make it a little bit creepier. You're like probably Honey, 10 years old. You're freezing. Shut the damn lights up and go right, to sleep. I'll look under the bed. There really is no such thing as monsters. Yes, there are. Yeah, right. See, honey, there's nothing there. Oh my god. Is someone going to pull her in? What the fuck? Mommy, there's something in my bed. <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> Number six is Cam Closer. I won't be featuring Lights Out as I featured it in the last creepy video, but I'll still show you another short film made by the same director. So this woman's taking a cheeky picture of an apple when she finds out that the camera in her phone actually has the same power as that kid from Sixth Sense, I can see dead people. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's when I leave. See some weird shit like that? I'm gone. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. This is like the ring. Oh my god! Number five is Snap. Definitely one of the most unnerving short films in this list. Snap revolves around no, a girl fuck. accepting a friend request on Snapchat and coming to the conclusion that who she accepted might not be that friendly. The really aggressive and crudely drawn emojis I'm scared that are to put my headphones in are now. very unnerving and add to the tensity of this short film. I'm gonna put one in. What the hell is this? What's going on? Bitch, go and investigate. <gasps> uh uh, get a gun. Get a gun. No, no, don't run towards it. What the fuck is that? He, she? Number four is Playtime. Created by VFX Productions, Playtime is one of the most intense films on this list. It kickstarts straight away with this deep web looking video, and then shit just goes down from there, man. See, that's when I, like I said the, the earlier in the video, that's when I leave. Oh!
No. Jump out the window! Sound like fucking. Playtime. Why is she keeping dolls in the house? Go through the window! It's the smartest option, just go through the window. Oh yeah, like screaming it is going to do something. <laughs> Fucking bastard. Number three is Bedfellows. Now I did actually feature this in the 10 creepiest videos on YouTube part one, but I never actually showed you guys the video and I can't deprive you of that. I don't have to give that much context as it gets to the punchline pretty quickly, but basically a girl who thinks she's sleeping with her boyfriend gets a call from her boyfriend. What? So who's she sleeping with? Find out next time on Yu-Gi-Oh. What? what? Danny, can you hand me my phone? Danny, oh, I swear to God. <sighs> Hello? Hey, Rach, it's Danny. I'm sorry to wake you up, babe. I uh, couldn't sleep, so I took a walk. But I locked myself out. I didn't take my keys. Oh. Oh, hell no. Don't fucking touch him! Don't fucking touch it! Oh my god! He's gonna she's gonna touch him. She's gonna touch him. No, no. Number two is Alexia. This short film features a guy visiting his ex-girlfriend's Facebook page on her birthday. The film quickly reveals that his ex-girlfriend has passed away and conversations with another girl show that the guy blames himself for breaking up with her. The woman, who's presumably his new girlfriend, convinces him that that's nonsense and the guy decides to delete his ex-girlfriend on Facebook. Let's find out why that was a terrible idea. This, this is not good. Dude, just unplug your computer. No. Hello, luck. Definitely the ring. And number one is Don't Move. This is a short film by Bloody Cuts Films that's See, well never worth fuck with watch. Ouija board. It's about a group of friends who are playing around with a Ouija board and summon a partially deaf and blind demon that forces them to remain stationary until five of them die and one remain. The audio is on point, the acting is awesome, and it's aesthetically pleasing to say the least. I mean, look at that. Look how cool that looks. Man. Sure as hell don't look cool to me. <laughs> I'd be scared as fuck.
What's wrong? She said I still love you. No. No. Oh, the selfish bitch. Oh. Yeah, all your friends are dead. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. And that's it for this top 10. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, oh don't forget to God. hit that like button. Just a reminder, all of these clips were heavily edited for the most part due to the fact that we covered about an hour of short films. Well, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. Mm -mm. That's one thing I don't like. When someone peels the skin back and all of a sudden you see muscle. What's rule number one? Never fuck Ouija boards. Rule number two, if you got old shit, get rid of it and buy a new one. Rule number three, if the door shuts when I film you and you can't get out, fucking bust the window and get out. Rule number four, get a gun. Rule number five, save your own ass. Fuck everybody else. Well, <laughs> God, I sound like a terrible person. I'm just kidding. Just do whatever you can, either uh, save somebody, but... Don't do anything stupid like these people did. Rule number six, don't play dead. That was the most stupidest prank ever. Showing somebody that you're dead, that's a good chance that there's a cop's going up your ass and you end up getting arrested. And when someone's literally a friend, well, you see an example on there. You end up losing a friend and get your ass in prison. But yeah, the, the fucking last one really got me. I mean... That made my skin crawl. I mean, mm-mm. You know, come to think of it, the girl who uh, ended up pushing that guy and ended up getting his ass killed, huh, yeah, she deserves to die. Because uh, those those type of people, when they sit, decide to save their own skin, they're just, they're not the type of people that that's worth living for. I mean, if you save somebody then your life does count. But if you save your own, mm -mm, you can go to hell. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video and you laughed your ass off since I was squirming in my own seat just watching this damn video. If you do, comment below, subscribe, do whatever, and the link will be on, the original video will be in the subscription down below. So, thanks for watching.